You are about to practice Ashtanga Yoga second series inspired class. CC is here with me. She is one of my teacher training students from a couple years ago doing the practice. And if you want to follow her, you can go to Yoga by CC and follow her on Instagram. And just a reminder, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to Fight Master Yoga and give us the thumbs up because you want to spread the love. And we'll begin standing at the top of the mat in Tadasana or Samastitihi. Taking a few long breaths as you settle into your practice. And we'll start today's practice with the Ashtanga invocation, bringing hands together in front of the heart. Follow along if you know, or just close your eyes and listen, exhaling everything out. Inhale for Om. Om. One day, Gurunam Charanada Vinde. Sandalashita swatma sukhavabode Nishreya se jangali kayamone Samsara hala hala mohashantie Abahu paru shakaram shankachakrasi Darenam sahasra shirasam shwehitam Pranamami Patanjalim Om. Exhale the hands down, saluting the sun. Surya Namaskar A. Akam inhale, reach up. Due exhale, fold forward. Tarini inhale, look up. Chatwari, step back. Chaturanga. Pancha inhale to press up. And shots, exhale, stretch back, downward facing dog, breathing here. For one, pull the belly in and up. Two, lift the pelvic floor muscles. Three, exhale. Four, exhale. And five, bend your knees and look up, lightly step or hop the feet, sapta. Inhale, Ashto, exhale to fold, Nawa, inhale to rise up, exhale, Samastitihi. Again, Ekam, inhale, lift the arms, Due, exhale to fold, Trini, inhale, lengthen, Chatwari, exhale, step or float back, Pancha, inhale to press into up dog, Shots, exhale to downward facing dog, breathing here. Remember, this is an advanced practice, so do what you can. Take care of yourself. Rest when you need to rest. Push pause and maybe watch some of the postures before you try them. Take another long breath here. Exhaling, bend the knees, step or hop, sapta, inhale, lengthen, ashto, exhale, fold, and nawa, inhale, rising up, samastitihi. Again, ekam, inhale, due, exhale, fold, trini, inhale, chatwari, exhale, pancha, inhale, shots, Exhale, breathing here for one. Exhale, again, lift the low belly, lift the pelvic floor muscles. These are your bandhas. Three, exhale, pressing the weight back. Four, exhale, and five. Bend the knees, step or jump, sapta, inhale, look up, ashto, exhale, fold, nawa, reach all the way up, inhale, exhale, again, inhale, reach up, exhale, hinge from your hips and fold, inhale, look up, lengthen, exhale, step or float to chaturanga, 
Inhale, press through the hands and feet, up dog, and exhale, stretch all the way back, down dog. Fingers spread, pressing into the base of the fingers, lifting your forearms away. Breathe. Inhales and exhales equal in length. Keep the belly lifted, pelvic floor engaged. Exhale everything out, look up. Step or jump, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Press through the feet, inhale to rise up. Exhale, samastitihi. Again, inhale, reach up. Do a exhale, fold in. Inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale, step or float to chaturanga. Inhale, press through hands and feet. Exhale, stretch all the way back, evening out your breath. One, exhale, firm the legs, spin the inner thighs back, two, exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, and five, Exhale everything out, bend the knees, hips high, step or hop, inhale, length and look up. Exhale to fold, press through the feet, rise up, inhale, samastitihi, exhale. Syria B, inhale, bend the knees, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, inhale, length and look up. Exhale, step or float back. Inhale, pressing up dog or cobra. Exhale back. On an inhale, right foot steps back. Heel down, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale, left foot steps back. Heel is down, virabhadrasana one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. And exhale, stretch all the way back. Breathing for one. Exhale again, pull the belly in and up, two. Exhale, stretching the weight up to the hips and then down through the heels, three. Four. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, everything out, bend the knees, look up, step or hop, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, reaching the arms. Samastitihi. Again. Ekam, inhale, bend the knees, reach up. Due, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, look up. Chatwari, exhale, step or float back. Pancha, inhale, pressing up. Shots, exhale back. Sapta, right foot steps, inhale up. Ashto, exhale, hug the elbows in. Nawa, inhale, pressing up. Disha, exhale back. Ekarisha, left foot steps, rise up, inhale. Duardasha, exhale to lower. Triodasha, take your breath in. Shatordasha, exhale to stretch back. Breathing here, even out your breath. Engaging the bandhas, gaze between your knees, or you could look up towards your navel if that's okay on your neck. Couple more breaths here. Exhale everything out. Step or jump. Inhale, look up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bend the knees, reaching up. And samastitihi, third one. Ekam, inhale, bend the knees, reach up. Due, exhale to fold. Trini, inhale, look up. Chatwari, exhale, step or float. Pancha, inhale, pressing up. Shots, exhale back. Sapta, right foot steps. Inhale, rising up. Ashto, exhale to lower. Nawa, inhale, press up. Disha, exhale, stretch back. 
Ekadasha left foot steps. Inhale, rising up. Duardasha, exhale to lower. Triodasha, full breath in. Shatordasha, exhale. And breathing for one. Exhale. And two, firm the legs. Exhale. Three, turn the outer upper arms back. Exhale. Four, soften around the neck. Exhale. And five, punch at a shot. Step or jump the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Shoda Shah, exhale, fold. Saptada Shah, bend the knees. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Samastitihi. And again, Ekam, inhale, bend the knees. Due, exhale to fold. Trini, look up, lengthen, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale, up. And shots, exhale back. Right foot steps, Sapta, inhale, rising up. Ashto, exhale, ride the breath down. Nawa, inhale, pressing up. Dasha, exhale back. Ekadasha, left foot steps, inhale as you rise. Duardasha, exhale to lower. Triodasha, as an inhale. Shaturdasha, stretch back, exhale. Breathing here. One. Exhale, making this part your moving meditation to exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, and five, punch at a sha step or hop the feet, inhale, look up, shoulder sha, exhale, fold, sap at a sha, bend the knees, reach up, inhale. Exhale, samastitihi, last one. Ekam, inhale, bend the knees. Due, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, look up. Chatwari, step or float back to Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward dog. And shots, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. Exhale, stretch back. Left foot steps. Inhale to rise up. Duardasha, exhale and lower. Triodasha, take your breath in. Shatordasha, stretch back. Exhale, even out your breath for one. Exhale. And two, feel free to push pause and take a rest. Three. Four. Exhale. And five. Punch at a sha. Step or float your feet forward. Inhale. Show to sha. Exhale to fold. Sup dada sha. Bend the knees. Inhale. Samastitihi. Exhale. Parangustasana, step or hop the feet, hips width. Fold forward, taking the big toes, wrap them around. Income, inhale, look up. Do a exhale to fold. Or one, if you can't reach the toes, just rest your hands on your legs. Two, exhale, crown of the head lengthening down, shoulders lifting away from the ears. Four, pull the belly in and up. One more long breath. Inhale, look up, lengthen Parahastasana. Step the feet onto the hands, lengthen on your inhale, fold in on your exhale. So if you need to bend your knees here, then do that. But take your toes to the creases of your wrists to get a nice stretch for them. Draw the belly in and up, shift the weight toward the balls of the feet. If legs are straight, make sure your muscles are engaged. Another breath. Inhale, head up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, back to Samastitihi. Utita Trikonasana. Face the long side of the mat. Turn the right leg all the way out. Exhale, hinge from your hip. Reach out and down. 
For one, stretch the left arm up. You can take your big toe with your right two fingers if they reach. Two, otherwise, hand on shin is perfect. Three, exhale, lengthen the side body. Four, exhale, lift the lower belly. Inhale, come up, feet to parallel, left leg out. Exhale, second side for one. Exhale, keep the legs firm, but unlock the knees. Exhale, lengthen from your navel through the crown of the head. Three, bottom ribs forward, top ribs spinning back. Four. And inhale to come up, Pavrita, twisting, face the back of the mat. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, take it down, inside or outside the foot to twist. For one, try to keep the hips level. Two, pull the right hip back. Three, lengthen on your inhales. Four, twisting deeper on your exhales. And inhale to come up, face the front. Walk your left foot to the left a little and exhale, second side. For one, pulling the front leg hip back. Two, exhale, lift the belly, three, lift the pelvic floor muscles, four, inhale, come to center, exhale, samastitihi, uttita parjava konasana, inhale, turn the right leg out, exhale, bend the knee over the ankle, Right hand to the little toe side of the foot, or you can rest right forearm on thigh. Reach the left arm up and over. Make sure that right knee is over the ankle, pointed right over the middle toes. Lift the back inner thigh up and stretch all the way through the fingertips, through the outer edge of the bottom foot, the back foot. Inhale to come up, left leg out, exhale, second side. Reach the right arm up and over, turning the torso as if you could face your belly button up toward the ceiling. Double check your left knee is over the ankle. Keep that knee nice and safe. Take another long breath. And inhale to come up, face the back of the mat. Line up heel to heel, bend your right knee over the ankle, left arm across and twist. You can press your palms together or if the right hand comes down to the foot, take it to the big toe side with the left arm reaching in line with the left ear. Pulling right hip back to try and square the hips here. And breathing, always nice, steady, ujjayi breath. Inhale, coming up, turn and face the front of the mat. Walk your left foot to the left a little. Bend the knee, right arm across and twist. Reaching the left arm over and pulling that left hip back. Breathing here. Lift up through the pelvic floor muscles a lot as you lift your belly. That will help with your stability. Remember, hands can press at heart center as a modification. Inhale, back up, and to samastitihi. Taking the feet parallel, hands on hips, prostrate padottanasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come halfway up, and then exhale, folding in. Toes point in slightly toward each other. Crown of the head may or may not rest on the floor. And breathe here, pulling in through the belly, firming the legs, gazing off the tip of the nose. Take another long breath. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale to center for B position. Inhale, arms out to the sides. Exhale, hands to hips and fold forward. Try and keep your spine as long as you can, lifting the shoulder heads away from the floor. 
and drawing your shoulder blades up toward the waist. Continue to shift the weight toward the balls of the feet and keep the legs firm. One more breath. Are squeezing outer hips, inner thighs. Inhale to come all the way up for C position. Inhale, arms reach out. Exhale, interlace fingers. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold. Breathing here. As you're stretching your arms up and possibly over, soften your elbow joints a bit. Keep the legs nice and firm, shifting weight toward balls of feet. Draw in through the lower belly, lift up through the pelvic floor, inhale back up to center for D position. Hands on hips, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinging from the hips, take the big toes with the first two fingers, lengthen on your inhale, fold on your exhale. If the hands don't reach the toes, rest your hands on your legs instead. Breathing here. Again, the head may or may not rest on the floor. Cece is very flexible and has been doing this for several years, so she's quite good. Keep your breath nice and steady and just do what you can. Come halfway up, inhale. Hands to hips, exhale. All the way up, inhale. And to the front of the mat, Samastitihi. Parsvottanasana, face the back of the mat, hands in prayer behind you or press your fists together. Exhale, folding over your right leg. Pull your right hip back and gaze toward your big toe. And then try and lift the shoulder heads up. Squeeze outer hips and inner thighs and breathe nice, steady ujjayi. Keep the lower belly pulling in and up. As you inhale to come up, pivot, face the front. And then exhale, second side. Make sure your feet are heel to heel or even a little bit wider. Pull the hip back of the front leg and drop the hip down of the back leg. Lift the shoulder heads, keeping a nice, open, wide chest. Inhale to come up and to Samastitihi. Next pose is Pashasana. First, inhale to reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step or float to Chaturanga. Inhale to press up. Exhale, stretch back. Pashasana, septa, step or jump forward. Bending the knees, coming into a squat. Bringing your right arm across. And wrapping your left arm behind you. Maybe clasping hands if possible. Try to keep pressing weight down into your heels. And if your heels don't touch, you can always put blanket underneath them or just have them up a little come to center second side left arm across to twist right arm comes behind clasping hands or holding on to your clothing try and roll the top shoulder back spreading across the collarbones keeping the hips as low as you can comfortably this is a pretty advanced posture so do what you can. Come to center and fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or float to Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, back. Crown Chasana, Septa, step or jump, bending the right knee back. Extending the left leg, taking the foot or holding onto the leg and lifting. Drawing the leg in and breathing here. Extending through the left leg, lifting the chest, soften through the shoulder blades, inhale, look up, exhale, release, tuck your right toes under, step or float to chaturanga, inhale, pressing up, 
exhale back, second side, step or hop, the left knee bends back, the right leg extends, taking the foot or anywhere along the leg, exhale and extending forward. Keep lifting through the leg as well as lengthening through the spine, pressing down evenly through both hips as best you can. Soften the shoulder blades, pull the belly in and up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release the foot, tuck your left toes under, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, back for shalabhasana. Inhale to plank. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Bring your arms next to you with your palms facing up. Inhale, lift everything up, press the tops of the hands down, and breathe. Inner thighs spinning up, widen collarbones, and keep the back of your neck nice and long. Take another breath here, lengthen sitting bones to heels, and then slide your hands by your low ribs, staying in the same position for a few more breaths. Rolling shoulder heads back, pressing pubic bone gently down. One more breath here. We're releasing. And then inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog for Dhanurasana. As you inhale, make your way to plank. And again, lower slowly to your belly. Bend the knees. Reach back for the feet on the little toe sides. Inhale to lift up. As you lift up, spin your inner thighs up toward the ceiling. Pull your belly in and up. Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Lifting the feet up and then pressing them back. And then releasing. And then taking the feet again, roll to your right side for Parsvadhanurasana. Gently looking up toward the ceiling so the back of the head will face the floor. Keep pressing your feet back, lengthening sitting bones. Come to center, lift up, and exhale to the left. Back of the head look, facing toward the floor so you're looking up gently. Keep pressing the feet back, lift your belly, Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Inhale, center lift up and then release. Hands by low ribs. Inhale for upward dog. Exhale for downward dog. Bakasana. Inhale, plank. Exhale again, lower slowly to the floor. Take half Bakasana. Taking the left foot, the right forearm parallel with the front and drawing the foot forward. So the heel is just a tiny bit to the outside of the hip, resisting that foot away, and then release it. Left hand, first take it to the big toe side and then pointing, or sorry, right hand, pointing the elbow up. Keep lengthening sitting bones toward backs of knees, resisting that foot away as you breathe here. Another breath, and perhaps taking both feet. So from the outside first, and then elbows up, lifting the shoulders up as you're drawing the heels toward the outsides of the hips. Carefully, carefully with your knees. This pose might be a nice one to skip if you haven't done it yet. Releasing here. Inhale, pressing up and exhale back and then looking forward we'll make our way onto the knees for Ustrasana. Knees are hips distance apart. Opening the chest, lengthen sitting bones toward backs of knees and reaching back maybe taking the heels or you can keep your hands at your lower back. Lift your chest. So as you rest your hands on your heels imagine that you're being pulled up from your chest. Let your head go back any amount. Squeeze the thighs together. Inner thighs spinning back. Keep the belly lifted. Inhale, come on up. 
bring the hands down. Step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, back. And then lightly stepping or hopping again to the knees for Lagu Vajrasana. Coming up onto the knees, Cece will use a block for this for her head. You can also take Ustrasana again or Lagu Vajrasana. The hands are in front of the heels. The arms stay straight as you go back. Head might make it to the floor. You might rest it on something. Spin the inner thighs toward each other and keep lengthening your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees. Widen across your collarbones. Squeeze outer hips, inner thighs to inhale and come on up. And then bringing the hands to the floor, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, back. Jumping into Bakasana, or you can step or hop forward and then take it. Coming forward, knees toward armpits. Squeeze outer thighs, inner thighs, and then step or float, Chaturanga. Press up as you inhale. Stretch back as you exhale. Step or float to seated for Bharavadrasana. The left leg folds back. The right leg comes in to half lotus, or you can just keep it on the floor. Left hand behind, right arm across, and twist. Every inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. Cece's holding her toe with her left hand. You may or may not be able to reach. Doesn't matter. Do what you can. Be careful with your knees when you're doing these half or full lotuses. If they don't work for you, if you have knee pain, don't do it. Come back to center. Unwind, cross the ankles, pick it up. And step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. And exhale to stretch back. Looking forward. The left leg folds back, the right leg comes across into half lotus, right arm behind, left arm across. Inhale to lengthen, exhale twisting. So again, Cece's holding her toe. That might not work, instead of half lotus, that foot can be just right on the floor. Take another breath here. Lengthening as you inhale, twisting as you exhale. Inhale, center and release. Cross your ankles and pick up anything at all. Step or float to Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, back for Ardha Matsyandrasana. So step or hop again to seated. The left leg will be underneath the right foot across. Right hand behind. Left arm comes around and if you can take the foot take the foot otherwise don't as you inhale sit tall as you exhale roll the right shoulder back to a sting take another long breath here head to center inhale cross your ankles press down pick up anything at all step or float shatwari Pancha, inhale, pressing up. Shots, exhale back for the second side. Step or jump to seat it. The right leg is underneath and the left leg will come across. Left hand behind, right arm reaches over and maybe takes the foot. As you inhale, create length through your spine and as you exhale, twisting in a little bit deeper. Remember, it doesn't matter how deep you get into a pose. You just do what you can do. Inhale, come back to center. Cross your ankles, press down and pick it up. Step or float, Chatwari. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, back for Titi Basana. So you can step forward, work your way into it, or CC is going to jump and miraculously land in Titi Basana. The legs as high up toward the shoulders as you can. 
rounding the back, pulling the belly in and up, and then bending the knees to Bakasana, and then step or float to ch Chatwari. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, stretch all the way back. Now from down dog, we'll come down onto the knees and practice forearm balance or Pinchamayarasana. I would recommend having a wall nearby if this is something that you're not used to. Make sure your elbows are right under the shoulders, palms are flat, walking the feet in and lifting, kicking up one leg at a time. Press down into the forearms, the thumb side of the hands, inner wrists, lift up through the shoulders as your outer upper arms tricep spin back and then split the legs coming to form plank pressing up and then through your vinyasa she makes it look easy <laughs> from here we'll come to mayarasana so to plank first and onto the knees and then turn your fingertips back arm balance, bending the elbows like chaturanga elbows, and then working to lift the legs up. Again, she makes it look easy. Squeeze your legs, lift your belly, lengthen sitting bones to heels, and then back. Fingers still turned back. When you get to down dog, you'll turn them back around for regular downward facing dog. And then looking forward, we'll come through to seated for komokasana right leg over left sit your hips down reach your right arm up bend the elbow left arm behind clasping hands if you can so the right elbow is pointed up roll your left shoulder back and then slowly with a nice long spine begin to hinge from your hips and come forward draw your belly in and up keep your pelvic floor muscles engaged Another breath here. Inhale, make your way up and release. Crossing the ankles, press down, pick it up. Step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up and exhale back. And then looking forward, back to seated for the second side. Left knee over right. Try to line the knees up as best you can. Left arm up, bending the elbow, right arm behind, clasping. Spinning left tricep forward, draw your belly and ribs in and up and roll your right shoulder back, hinging from your hips as you extend forward. Reconnect with your breath. Relaxing your shoulders and your jaw. Inhale to come up, unwind, cross the ankles, pick up anything at all, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, press up, exhale back. From here, we're moving into the seven headstands. If you're not familiar, I would watch first and I would use a wall. So first, mukta hasta or tripod, crown of the head down, make sure that the elbows are no wider than the shoulders wrists under elbows as you make your way up. You can come right down or the traditional way is to make your way into a pike position and then jump back into chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up, exhale back. Second one to the knees, crown of the head down. Arms come behind you with your palms up, walking the feet in. Hips go past shoulders as the legs start to come up. Press down into the hands, lift up through the shoulders, and lengthen butt to heel, squeezing the legs. So again, you can come right down, or the transition is pick up the hands, take them back to the tripod position, and then chatwari or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to down dog and to the knees for the wide arm variation. So your arms go right out at the shoulders with your palms flat. Tucking the toes, lifting the knees, walk your feet forward, hips past the shoulders as you begin to lift the legs. 
press down onto the arms and hands and lift up through the shoulders, belly in and up. And again, just coming right down or picking up the hands, take them into that tripod position and then to chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up and exhale to stretch all the way back. And then to the knees again, this one is the regular bound hand headstand, crown of the head down, elbows no wider than shoulders. Bring hips past shoulders as you lift up. Draw shoulders up toward the waist, lengthen butt bones to heels. And then again, you can come right down or you undo your hands, palms flat, and then make your way into again, chaturanga. It's quite amazing. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale to downward facing dog. I had a teacher that called the next one the I Dream of Genie headstand. So you're going to hold your elbows, your opposite elbows, crown of the head down, tuck the toes, walk your feet in. So hips go past shoulders, beginning to lift the legs. Use your belly muscles, use your core strength and your pelvic floor muscles. Hips toward heels, pressing the shoulders up toward the waist. And then again, you can come down or bring your hands away from the elbows, palms flat to chaturanga. Inhale to press up. Exhale to stretch back. The next one, coming to the knees, it's like your hands are in Pinchamayarasana forearm balance, but your crown of the head is on the floor. So make sure your elbows are no wider than your shoulders. Crown of the head down, tuck the toes, lift the knees, walking in. As you're ready, lift up through the legs. Keep lifting shoulders up toward the waist. Lengthen sitting bones to heels, squeeze the legs, keep the belly engaged. You can come right down or you'll pick up the hands Take the palms flat and come to Chaturanga. Inhaling up, exhaling back. Last one, coming onto the knees. So set up like the pinch of arms, except then you'll touch your hands onto your shoulders. Make sure your elbows don't go wider than shoulders distance. A little harder to get in by walking your feet forward, but do the best that you can. Lifting up, remember I recommend using the wall as you're getting stronger and practicing these. Lift sitting bones to heels, draw in through the belly. And then again, you can come right down the regular way or hands flat to chaturanga, inhaling to up dog. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. That was a lot of work. And then next we'll come into Urdhva Dhanurasana. So step or float to seated and then lie down. So upward facing bow, Urdhva Dhanurasana, sometimes called wheel, or you can stay with bridge pose. If you're coming to wheel, hands up by shoulders, elbows up, pause at the crown of the head, point your toes in toward each other and then come up. Spiral your inner thighs down, stretching the whole front of the body. Breathing here. So in between, traditionally we come to the crown of the head, maybe even walk in a little bit closer and then press into the second one. We're doing three. You are welcome to rest in between. Push pause, take a little more time. Keep lengthening sitting bones to backs of the knees, coming to crown of head for last one when you're ready. And pressing up. Inner thighs spin down. Lengthen your butt bones toward the backs of the knees, stretching the front of the body. Make your way all the way down and now hug your knees into your chest for a moment. Rocking side to side just a bit. And then rolling up, you can go to plank and vinyasa from here or like CC. Chakrasana, backward somersault into Chatwari, and then inhale to up dog, and exhale to down dog. Or Salamba Sarvangasana, shoulder stand, step or float to seated, and lie down. 
pull your belly in. Inhale, start to lift up hands toward mid to lower back as you lift the legs. If you have any pain in your neck, don't do this one. You can keep your hips on the floor and lift the legs that way. Squeezing the legs, lengthen the neck. Shoulder blades press up toward the chest away from the floor as your arms and elbows press down into the mat. Take another breath here. And then into Halasana, taking the feet toward the floor behind you. Interlacing the fingers, or you can continue to hold on to the back. Now it's important to not turn your head in shoulder stand or any of these postures. So if you're not familiar, watch first and then do. Keep lengthening through the spine and then Pindasana, bending the knees. Sorry, Karna Pindasana, bend the knees, take them down around the ears and squeeze. Continue lengthening through the spine. Into Urdhva Padmasana. So instead of lotus here, CC crosses at the shins because lotus is not one of those poses that is nice on her knees and hips. So she takes care of herself. You can do the same. Hands on the knees, continue to lengthen through the spine. And then into Pindasana, hugging the knees in, wrapping your arms around the legs. Continue your steady breath. And then we'll begin to slowly roll out into Matsyasana, crown of the head lengthening back. Now, if you had the lotus legs and you still have them, you can reach down and hold your feet. Or Baddha Kanasana works very well as CC is doing. Keep lifting the chest. And then into Uttan Padasana. The head stays down as you lift your arms and legs. Use your belly muscles to hold you here, engaging through the legs. So good for your neck. Take one more breath and release. And you can roll yourself up and come to Chaturanga or like CC Chakrasana, hands by ears. Lifting the legs up and over, press onto the hands to make your way to Chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhaling back into Barahasta Shirsasana, bound hand headstand. Make sure elbows are no wider than shoulders, crown of the head down. Walk your feet forward to lift the legs. So we're going to hold this one a little bit longer. As you're pressing down through your arms and your elbows, lift up through your shoulders. Draw in through the belly, lift the pelvic floor muscles, squeeze the legs. Now remember, come down anytime you need to and use the wall if you're not used to headstands without it. Always want to be safe. Halfway down and hold. Draw the belly in and up. Come into your pike position. Holding here, continue to lift the shoulders away from the floor. Really pressing down and lifting up. Inhale, bring the legs back up. And then as you exhale, you'll slowly make your way down, straight legs if you can, and into Balasana, child's pose and rest. Take a few long breaths here. And then from here, looking forward, we're going to make our way to plank pose and then lower through chaturanga. Inhale to press up. Exhale, stretch back for Baddha Padmasana. Step or flow to seated. So either crossing at the shins or left leg and then right into 
Padmasana, and then folding forward. Take your hands behind you. So if you're in lotus and you can reach and hold your feet, you'll do that. Otherwise, hands behind you and folding forward in this way, we're sealing in the benefits of our practice. Keep your breath nice and steady. Take one more breath here. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the jaw. Inhale to come up for Yana Mudra. First finger and thumb together and just breathing here. Really focus on your inhales and your exhales. Yana Mudra is connecting with our inner wisdom, our divine self. So breathing and connecting. As you breathe here, releasing any tension. And then one more posture before Shavasana is Utplathaki. It's easier to lift everything up if you have a lotus. Otherwise, lift your butt up and keep your feet down. Pressing up, drawing ribs and belly in, lifting the pelvic floor, breathing nice, steady breath. You're drawing in and up, really using all of your internal muscles, your Udiyana Bandha, your Mula Bandha, that's your pelvic floor lock and your low belly lock, Uddiyana, lifting upward, mula, pelvic floor. Release. So you can keep your shins crossed or in lotus as you come forward. Fingertips can turn back or forward. Bend your elbows, lift the legs, and make your way to chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, stretch all the way back. And now we have made our way into shavasana. Step or float to seated and lie down. Take a few moments to get very comfortable. Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees, shoulders toward waist. As you're settling in, I have our quote today from Ralph Waldo Emerson. To laugh often and much to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. I'll leave you to your rest and I will be back in a couple moments.
very slowly begin to bring your attention back into your body. And then just start to take some deeper breaths. Start moving your fingers, your toes. Take a long stretch. And then begin to bend your knees and give them a nice hug into the chest. Roll off onto your right side and pause a moment to thank yourself for taking your practice. Slowly come up to a comfortable seat and bring your hands together. Let's bring the hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Our hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth reminding us to have clear and loving communication, sending positive energy out to all beings everywhere. Namaste. The light in me recognizes, honors, and loves the light in you. You did a great job today, my yoga friend. If you like that video, I have something else for you that's going to get you super strong because it's all about the core and the abs and that strength goes all through your body. I have a free gift for you. It's a 10 minute ab centric focused class that will get you so strong and all you've got to do is click the link below or I'll pin it at the top of the comments. Enter your name and your email address and I'm going to send it right over. It's free. It's for you. It's going to get you strong and you're going to feel good.